Hello everybody, my name is Fatma Abdullah al Murazza, and today I will talk about the ability of biochar to create a healthy ecosystem for microbes. In this presentation, I will go through these main and sub points. First, I have the introduction, and in the introduction, I will focus on soil in general, the importance of soil microorganisms, soil health definition and properties, and soil health indicators. Then, I will move to the soil health from microbial perspectives, soil health biological indicators, the critical role of microbes in soil health, and the response of biological parameter to land management activities. Then I will move to the biochar as soil health amendment, which is the core of my presentation. What is the biochar, the biochar properties, and the impact of biochar on soil microbes? Then I will move to the effects of soil water availability and dynamics on soil microbes. And finally, I will have the conclusion and future perspectives. Soil is a dynamic, complicated, non-renewable resource on the Earth's surface that is an essential resource for food production, conserve environmental health, reaching sustainability, and decreasing the effects of climate change. Nowadays, our soils are at risk, especially in the places that are affected by the anthropogenic activities, such as improper land use practices, overgrazing, soil erosion, pollution, and deforestation, which have led to the degradation of about 40% of agricultural lands and all impacted soil biodiversity. So, soil and its biodiversity are more vulnerable to the anthropogenic disturbance. Soil biota is one of the world's major stores of biodiversity. They are very important to plants and they provide several benefits for plants, such as nutrient supply to crop, plant growth stimulation, phytohormone production, phytopathogen biocontrol, soil structure improvement, bioaccumulation of inorganic compounds, and bioremediation of metal contaminated soils. So, understanding the behavior, communication and function of microbial communities in both soil and plants are an important and essential way to help prevent improper land practices that may cause damage for the agricultural land. Also, detecting risk to soil biodiversity and trying and acting to protecting them is an essential way to achieving global agricultural sustainability. Soil health refers to the soil's ability to operate as a vital living ecosystem, support plant and animal health, improve water and air quality, and promote soil biodiversity. It also can be defined as the optimal state of the biological, physical, and chemical function of the soil. Healthy soils are characterized by their properties especially their chemical and biological properties. They suppress infections, sustain biological activity, inactivate harmful compounds, degrade organic materials, and recycle nutrients, water, and energy. There are many soil physical, chemical, and biological parameters that indicate soil health, such as pH, water holding capacity, soil available nutrients, soil organic carbon, bulk density, and soil microbial biomass carbon. When we compare physical and chemical indicators to biological indicators, biological indicators show a quick reaction to natural and human changes, making them a responsive technique for evaluating soil health. As identified by one research, Biological indicators are 183, and the most common of them as shown here, such as soil respiration and carbon cycling, microbial community structure, biochemical process, and nematode abundance analysis. Soil microbes play an important role in soil health, where soil microbial activity, community, and diversity 
are critical indicators of soil and plant health. Different microbiological activities may act as critical indications of soil health, such as nutrient recycling and fixation, mobilization and immobilization, decomposition and remediation, and solubilization and sequestration. Also, bacteria and fungi that found in the rhizosphere can operate as biofertilizers, which promoting the plant growth and development. They can also be used as biopesticides because many of microorganisms destroy insects and other pests that harm for plants. Also, they break down and detoxify chemicals in the soil. Soil microbial communities sustain the stability and productivity of agroecosystem through their vital role in different ecological and physiological activities. For example, plant yield quantity and quality, nutrient cycling, and soil water storage are highly correlated with the microbial population, such as fungi, bacteria, and beneficial nematodes all of which play important role in enhancing plant health and soil fertility. According to different studies that investigate the response of biological parameters to different land management activities for the growth and development of plants as indicator of soil health in long-term field experiments, they found that fertilizer applications, crop rotation, and stubble management all had a substantial impact on the mineralization of carbon and microbial biomass. Also, in another study, researchers found that strip tillage increased watermelon yields as a result of increasing the soil microbial population of fungi, bacteria, and nematodes compared to conventional tillage. Also, in another research, they found that organic practices have a positive effect in increasing soil microbial biomass carbon compared to conventional practices. The key general techniques for increasing soil health are 1. Add sufficient organic matter to the soil through biomass residues and organic products such as animal manure and compost. 2. Cover the soil with live plants and crop residues. 3. Use other erosion-reducing methods. 4. Improve crop rotation. 5. Use optimum management practices to provide nutrients to plant and minimize water pollution. 6. Reduce the intensity of tillage. 7. Reduce the intensity of the compaction. Now, I will talk about biochar. What is biochar? Biochar is a solid carbon-rich product formed by the thermal decomposition of biomass in oxygen-deficient condition in a process called pyrolysis. It is used as a soil amendment and this is what makes it different from charcoal. It changes the soil microbial community's composition and their abundance. It also can be used to increase soil fertility which researchers attributed to either rise in pH in acidic soils or cation exchange capacity. Also, it enhanced soil ecosystem services and absorb carbon in soil instead of emitted to the atmosphere in a process called sequestration, carbon sequestration. Biochar physical and chemical features such as surface area, particle size, bore size, structures, Composition, conductivity, pH, and cation exchange capacities are affected by the feedstock type, pyrolysis setting, and modification procedures. And these features are the main factors that affect soil physical and chemical properties and also play an important role in microbial activities. Feedstock type and pyrolysis temperature influence the biochar stability as shown here in this table, which obtained from previous several studies. That rapid pyrolysis and low temperature produce incomplete pyrolysis of biomass, making it more susceptible to decomposition by microbes, while the opposite of high temperature and slow pyrolysis 
leads to the production of complete pyrolysis of biomass that is more resistant to microbial degradation. Depending on the feedstock type and pyrolysis temperature, biochar will affect the physical, chemical, and biological properties of the soil. Physical properties, it will enhance hydraulic conductivity, water holding capacity, aggregate stability, soil structure, and porosity. For chemical properties, it will increase soil pH, cation exchange capacity, and electrical conductivity. Also, for biological properties, it will enhance microbial activities, abundance, and microbial community structure. Also, it will improve enzyme activity. Biochar can have a positive, negative, or no impact on soil microbes. It can affect microbial community structure, soil pH, soil labile carbon concentration, soil organic carbon, microbial biomass carbon, microbial biomass nitrogen, total concentration of phospholipid fatty acids, microbial activities, and enzymes activities. Some researchers found that microbial communities are affected by the application rate of biochar and the properties of soil and biochar. They also found that changes in microbial behavior, function, and population structure could occur only when biochar application rates are high enough to impact soil parameters that affect and determine microbial properties, such as water retention capacity, pH, and nutrient availability. In this table, for example, in the first study, it appears that soil biological properties such as microbial biomass, microbial activities, and community structure are not influenced by biochar when it applied to RD soil and they link this to the low rate of biochar application. In the second one, in 2015, they found that increasing the rate of biochar application from 0.5% to 5% resulted in a decrease in the both of phospholipid fatty acid concentration and the relative abundance of bacteria in the soil. And it also increased the activity of soil extracellular enzymes. While in the third one in 2014, they found a reduction in phospholipid fatty acid concentration after the application of biochar to, sand, uh, to sandy loam soils. While in 2017, they found that adding 2.2 percentage of biochar for 3.5 years to silty loam soil increased soil organic carbon, total nitrogen, total phosphorus, and improved nutrient availability when it's compared to the control soil. Pyrolysis temperature and feedstock type influence the biochar specific area and porosity. Where water molecules and soluble chemicals important in microbial metabolism such as acids, ketones, and sugars are stored in biochar mesopores and micropores. Also, a variety of soil microbes live in these pores, including bacteria and fungi. Also, biochar surface area promotes soil microbial development where high surface area allows for stronger microbial colonization. The larger the surface area, the more it absorbs water, nutrients, and soluble carbon. Also, soil mixed with high specific area and porosity biochar will have high water retention capacity, which help increase microbial activity and development. Therefore, during dryness, biochar with high porosity and surface area would provide better habitat for microbes, which enhance microbial resistance to drought. So, biochar affects the hydrological properties of the soil, which affects the soil health. Soil moisture affects microbial activity and mineralization rates, where saturated soil results in reduced oxygen diffusion which reduce the activity of aerobic bacteria, but may improve the activity of anaerobic microbes. While water shortage lower microbial activity and development, change the structure of the microbial community, and decrease carbon and nitrogen mineralization. Some studies investigate the influence of drying and rewetting on soil microbial activities, and they discovered that 
During drying, soil water content decreases. So, so soil microbes need to decrease the water potential in their body to be in equilibrium with the environment through accumulating intracellular organic and inorganic solutes. After rewetting the soil, the water potential increases. So they need to increase water potential by releasing those solutes. Also, they found that microbial activities, biomass, and nitrification decrease as the frequency of dry and rewetting cycle increase. But at the same time, they found that rapid decomposition and mineralization rate. Therefore, capillary barrier is one of the methods that can be used to conserve soil water at an optimum level and prevent extreme soil water fluctuation. According to the current knowledge on soil health and the impact of biochar and water dynamics on soil microbial response that described in this presentation, there is a need for further research on the effect of synergetic integration of biochar and capillary barrier on soil health and how they can create a healthy ecosystem for microbes. At the end, I want to say thank you for your kind listening, and if you have any question, I will be happy to answer.